Hi, that's an ASUS RT-AX86U. And that has been my main wireless router here in my house for a little bit more than a year. And in this video, I want to share with you my thoughts on that wireless router after using it pretty much every day for a little bit more than a year. Before starting the video, I just need to quickly mention that I've already reviewed and tested that router in that video. Uh, so if you want to know more about the things like its Wi-Fi range, Wi-Fi speed and so on and so forth, feel free to watch that video first. Uh, I still believe in everything I said in that video, so it doesn't make sense if I want to repeat what I have already covered. But rather in this video, I want to actually talk about a couple of things that I guess you could only talk about them if you have used or tested a device for a good amount of time. When you're experiencing some random network issues, for example, let's say if the Wi-Fi is just all of a sudden slow or it's just not working properly and you call an IT support, what is the first thing that they suggest you to do or they ask if you have done? Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? See, if I have tried turning it off and on again, I'm happy to tell you that I don't remember a moment that I had to do that, I mean reboot the wireless router in order to fix a problem. In other words, I haven't encountered any network issues that requires me to reboot the wireless router. I mean, yes, uh, the router needs to reboot itself when, for example, you make some major changes in the configuration or install a new firmware. But as far as fixing a problem, I don't remember doing that. That actually might not sound like something huge in the beginning, but I think it is. Because nowadays we rely on the internet more than ever. For example, we have smart homes with tons of devices devices that need to be connected to the internet. Just imagine how annoying it would be if every now and then everything goes down and I just have to reboot the wireless router to make them work again. I mean for something like a smart LED light bulb that might not be a big deal. I can still manually turn it on and off. But for something like a security camera system that is a big deal. Now this one is kind of interesting, up until now I talked about this device as a wireless router, but as you might already know, or if not it is all explained in that KB video, a wireless router does a lot of work, because it is in fact a combination of many devices all joined together into one device, for example a router, an access point, a switch, a firewall or even a NAT. So the ASUS RT-AX86U is already a powerful wireless router, thanks to its powerful processor I guess. But if I only use it as an access point, which I can easily do by changing its operation mode and then use a separate router or firewall, then all that processing power can be dedicated to this device as an access point, which basically means the less of a chance that this device would get overloaded, which should overall mean a better quality wireless network. And that is important especially if I have many wireless clients. There is however one disadvantage, because in the AP mode, if I create a guest Wi-Fi, I cannot block it from accessing the local network. A third party firmware that you can install on this wireless router is ASUS WRT Merlin, which in my opinion is very useful because of all the extra tools and scripts that you can install and use. If I want to have a more professional network, then ASUS WRT Merlin is going to be helpful. For example, in that video I used the ASUS WRT Merlin to install the TCP dump on my ASUS wireless router. TCP dump is a packet analyzer and can be very useful when it comes to trouble shooting the network.
But one feature that I think is really missing from the Asus WRT Merlin is actually support for VLANs in the graphical user interface. It looks like right now the only way to use VLANs is actually through the command line interface, which unfortunately is not straightforward, it's not user friendly at all. If I could have one feature request for the Asus WRT Merlin, that definitely would be support for VLANs in the graphical user interface. I mean, why not? Today, even home networks are getting much bigger and more complicated. And it's kind of necessary to be able to subdivide the network into different VLANs, maybe for better security, better management, or even access control. For example, maybe I can have one VLAN for my wired network, one VLAN for my personal wireless network, and another VLAN for the guest wireless network and make sure the guest VLAN does not have access to the other two. But unfortunately, as we saw earlier in this video, that is currently something which is not possible to do, at least not in the graphical user interface, if I use my ASUS wireless router in the AP mode. Alright, so let's quickly recap what we did in this video. So after using the ASUS RTAX 86U for about a year, I can tell you that whatever I said in my initial review video, I still agree with them. Which should be something good, right? Because I actually said a lot of good things in that video. I mean, I'm still happy with its Wi-Fi range, Wi-Fi speed and overall performance. I heard some people had some overheating issues, but I never had any. And like I said, for me, it's been a super stable wireless router and I have around four 40 wireless clients plus a handful of wired clients connected to it. I can also change its operation mode and use it as an access point. Maybe if I want to have a more advanced network and use a separate and dedicated router or firewall, which is good. But I should keep in mind that there's going to be a limitation in the AP mode, which is I cannot isolate and block the guest Wi-Fi from accessing the LAN. Unfortunately, there's no support for VLANs in the GUI or graphical user interface either. And using them in the CLI is not going to be very easy, especially if the network is not simple. But for many people who probably don't even want to use VLANs, this router and what it offers is going to be even more than enough. Alright, that was pretty much it and I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or maybe if you just want to share your experience with your wireless router. I'm also going to add some links in the video description including some related videos and also the ways that you can support the channel in case that's something you would like to do which i would really 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 appreciate it thank you very much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it share it if you think others might like it too and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you again and i will see you next time